Greetings, comic book friends. It is TGIW. Thank God it is Wednesday. It is new comic book day. So we are going to go over what came out today. Not everything, but what came out that's important. That is things that I got. That's all that matters, right? So every once in a while, and every everyone who gets new books knows this. Every once in a while, the stars align and just like everything seems to come out on a certain week. For me, that was this week. It's a pretty, it's a pretty beefy week. Um, I think it's a total of 15 books, which is a lot. And it's just one of those things where just, just a, a lot just happened to come out this week. Now there, there are some outliers when we will, we'll, we'll go over the outliers first. Right. So there's, uh, Amazing Spider-Man Annual 2. Ah, what are you going to do? It's an annual. It happens once a year. There's a 1 in 52 chance you're going to get an Amazing Spider-Man Annual. It happened to fall on this week. On the same week as a bunch of other stuff happened to align. It happens. What are you going to do? All right. Um, so this is... I don't know what's going on here. Stars here. It's part of Infinite Destinies. Some thing... Some... Uh, uh, mini event or something that I have no idea about. So I don't know. Stop. You're not going to suck me in to some other, to other books with some mini series. I don't care. Nice try Marvel. No, what all you've succeeded in doing is getting me to, to, to read a book that I was going to buy anyway, but I don't actually enjoy it. Who's who wins? Who wins there? No one. That's who. Uh, we have a bad idea. One shot came out. Sleigh bells. How often does this come out? Once in every forever. Like it's a one shot. Ah, it's okay. I can I can forgive it. Uh, so we got Santa shooting up the joint. Uh, he's Santa. He does what he wants. Like Santa doesn't have to worry about getting on the naughty list because he writes the naughty list. He can just go do shooting up whatever he wants. Uh, and then we have Ordinary Gods, number one. This is this is past Titan's fault. This is another... I ordered this, you know, months ago. What are you going to do? Uh, apparently, it's not super great. I don't know. I, I talked to uh, one of my friends who, who works at, at, at one of the shops, and they said that it was all right. Um, I hope that I don't really like it. I hope that I don't have to subscribe to it. That'd be great, but uh, it is what it is. So this one, this one's my fault. This one's my fault. I, I take full responsibility for this. Uh, Extreme Carnage Alpha One, or Extreme Carnage Alpha. Uh, sorry, I'm thirsty. I just I ate a big chunk of cheese, and it really dried me out. <laughs> so. I know that Extreme Carnage, like the events or the series, had, I know for a while is going to be coming out. And every time I saw something with it, like it solicited or whatever, I was like, I don't know. I'll, I'll worry about it, whether or not I'm going to get it later. That's tomorrow's problem. Well, tomorrow eventually comes, and tomorrow is today. So I had to finally make the decision, am I going to read Extreme Carnage? And I still haven't decided. All I decided was that I'm going to get the alpha issue and we'll go from there. So if it's good, it's good. I'll read it. If it, if, it, if I don't really care for it, then eh, we'll stop there. So four, four books, four outliers. It, it happens. It happens. All right. We have uh, Immortal Hulk number 48. So... Three more issues of Immortal Hulk to go. Um, I, I'm I'm mixed with emotions. I'm sad. Uh, I'm happy. I, I I'm curious. All right. I, Immortal Hulk has been great. I'm sad to see it end, but also at the same time, I'm excited to see what Donny Cates does when he brings the Hulk back and whatever his title is going to be called and whenever that is. I'm real excited for that. But Immortal Hulk has been a ride. It's been great. I've loved it. Uh, and um, if you haven't read it, then uh, I, I suggest doing so. 
So we're doubling up on Spider-Man this week. Amazing Spider-Man number 70. This is Prelude to Sinister War. I, I'm excited for this. Um, you know, every once in a while, you need... You need to get back to the Spidey basics, right? We've dealt with, we've put up with... Sin Eater. And Kindred. Like, just give me Doc Ock. Give me, give me Sandman. What, 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 what are those boys up to? What are you guys doing? Why don't you show up and have a little fun with, uh, with Spidey? Uh, you, I just need that palate cleanser, right? It's just, it's the, it's the ginger that comes with the sushi. Just every once in a while, you have a few bites. Like, you know what? I need a, I need a, I need a, I need a do over. Just pl uh, cleanse that palate. Hopefully that's what this is. I'm, I'm excited for it. I hope it's good. Swamp Thing number five. Number five. Uh, this continues to be fun. It's, it's you know, he's, he's, the, he's figuring out still, like, who is the Swamp Thing? Who is also me? What is the green? What is the red? What is this? Um, it's, it's, like, it's like a coming-of-age story where... He's like not coming of age, but he's discovering who he is. And at the same time, he's also kind of remembering like the, the inherent Swamp Thing hive mind is, I don't know. It's, it's, it's good. If you like Swamp Thing, you know, even though it's not your Alec Holland or your thing that thinks it's Alec Holland, it's a, it's a good, it's a good Swamp Thing read. Um... So we have, uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. Um, Serial. So Serial is, this is, this is a ride. Um, so let's, let's agree on something. Let's agree. Hopefully we can agree that, this, and this is kind of, I think, an objective truth. Murder is bad. I think as a society, we have decided that murder is something that you shouldn't do. It's a bad thing. Murdering child molesters? Mm, we're, getting, we're getting a little gray. I mean, don't, don't go out and murder child molesters. Don't go out and murder anybody. Please. Murder is bad. But, like, if you have a piece of fiction or you hear on the news of someone that's not you, in a piece of fiction, someone's murdered some child molesters. Uh, oh, yeah. All right. I'll go along for that ride. I'll go along for that ride. Uh, cereals. I, I enjoy cereal. Enjoy this. Cereal's fun. Uh, I'm, fun is probably not the right word. Um, Batman 110. This, uh, this, this is this is all right. This is we're 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 seeing where Future State comes from, right? The the Gotham Future State comes from. It's the rise of Peacemaker. Um, also, the uh, the Ghost Ghost is it Ghostmaker? No, no, that can't be right. There's not a Peacemaker and a Ghostmaker. What's the what's the White Batman? The Batman is all dressed in the white. What's his name? Ghost something. Ghost Hunter. Ghost Face. No, that's something else. You know who I'm talking about. I'm really liking those backup stories. I like that character. Uh, he's like he's like the Batman that was, was trained like Batman, but is also like, hey, Bruce. <laughs> hey, Bruce. Why don't you just kill these people? <laughs> like this Joker? Great. You, you capture him. You throw him in a little box for a couple months. He just gets out and murders a bunch more people. Eh, why don't you just uh, just sneak up behind him and just just a little just a little, little, little just a little one of these, just a little one of those. Uh, but Bruce has kind of got him. He bested him, right? So it's like, nope, you got to put my my rules. You can't kill anybody. But I do really like the character. I like the character. Uh, I am sad though that the the character that that we haven't seen in um, Batman in a while that I really liked was Clown Killer. 
where's Clown Killer? I really like, you know, I I don't care about your 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 uh, punchlines or your miracle mollies or whatever. Where's Clown Killer? He seemed like a really interesting, like an actually interesting character. I want to see more of him. Tinian, come on. If you're watching this, which I know you're not. Star Trek Year 5, number 22. I felt like I just got one of these. I think there was just one just last week. I, that, I mean, I suppose that's okay. It's a really good book. Um, I, I wouldn't want it to be every week just because I don't want any book to be every week. Because uh, that would just be too much. But this is a really good book. I love, I love Star Trek. Uh, Runaways, number 37. Gert, Gert, is something's happening. Gert, what are you doing? Put your pants back on, Gert. I, I don't know if she's taking your pants off. I really doubt it. Uh, so Runaways is one of those books. I, I've, I've been reading it since the very beginning. And, I mean, Runaways, volume one, I mean, forget about it. It's great. It's such a good, good read. The current volume, it's not bad, but I don't really care about the stories. I care about the characters, but I care about the characters because of what I know them from, from, from like volume one. So I keep reading it because I care about the characters, but the stories, they're okay, they're passable, they're just not super fantastic. So I have a hard, I struggle with this one. Part of me wants to drop it, but part of me is like, I mean, you've been in it since the beginning. Might as well stick with it, right? It's probably, I mean, that's not a good excuse, but. Uh, Post Americana number six. This is the, the last issue of this. This has also been a ride. This is just one of those, like, bananas, off the wall, crazy weird stuff. Um,. And it's been a lot of fun. I, I've really, really liked this book. Um, I'm glad that it's done it at six issues. Not that I, I don't like it. It's just one of those things where tell the story, get it done, be out, let it be enjoyed. If it went for longer, it, it would just be too much. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm glad this is getting over, but it, I, I, have, I have really liked it. Uh, Noctera number five. I really, really like this book. Uh, you know, when I when I read the first issue or two, my 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 thought to myself is that the characters and the story aside, whether or not I like the characters and the story, I'm very interested in the world. I'll, I'll keep reading it just to learn more about the world and what happened and what's just kind of going on. But the characters and the stories are also good. So. so I mean, win, 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 right? Uh, but point being, the world itself is actually just really interesting. Um, but again, the, the, the book itself is it's, it's good. Um, Geiger number four. Uh, again, it's still, it's it's an interesting. I'm still intrigued. Um, I I think at issue four, I'm kind of expecting to either learn more and or more stuff to actually happen. Um, Excuse me. Uh, I'm recording this late. I had, a, I had a family thing today, and then this is actually the second time I'm recording this. The first time, there was no audio, so I'm doing it again. Hooray. So I'm a little bit sleepy. Um, yeah, it's, it's, I'm not worried about the book, um, it's just, it's getting to the point of, okay, let's, let's learn some more. Cool, glowy guy in the desert is not enough to keep me going. Give me a little substance. Uh, Deep Beyond number six. So we're halfway with this. We're halfway through Deep Beyond. It's a 12 issue mini series. Um, I'll keep with it. It's interesting. It's, it's I mean, it's, it's nothing groundbreaking. Uh, you know, it's evil corporation um, has too much power and, it, you know, it, it, Wayland yutani <laughs> basically. 
right um, sort of thing. It's it's interesting enough, um, but yeah. Um, so that's 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 it. I didn't get any, any extra stuff. Um, I was I was looking at um, there was a Mego that one of my shops had. It was um, a, a, the Star Trek um, uh, Neptunian. I was gonna pick up, um, but it there was there was something broken on it. Like I, I asked to take a closer look at it, and and it, it was noted. Like they weren't trying to pass it off as whatever. Like it was on the back. I really, yeah, this knee joint's totally busted. I just didn't know by looking at it, because um, you yeah. know. Uh, so I, I, I was kind of bummed about that. I really wanted to get that, but I didn't want to deal with the busted knee. Um, there's, there, there's some Mego repairs I'm willing to, to do. Um, but that particular one wasn't, eh, wasn't worth it. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, uh, I've been reading other stuff. Um, getting real close to being done with the first volume of, um, Eternals. It's super great. Uh, also turns out if you remember from last week i had got that full run of spider-man 2099 um i didn't realize this but and I, I don't know for how long he writes in this if he does the whole thing or just the first i don't know 10 20 issues written by peter david so <laughs> it's like genuinely good <laughs> So like the, like the general 90s rule, if you're reading something from the 90s, some 90s run, the general rule is that it's going to be pretty bad. You're, you're not going to have a good time. Like There's stuff in there to enjoy. You enjoy it for what it is, for the nostalgia, for reading it as a product of its time. But is it good? Like, Did I, did I enjoy reading Darkhawk? I did. Was it good? <laughs> Spider-Man 29, 2099 is good. That's that's the exception. If you if you're reading a 90s series but it's written by Peter David, odds are it's actually pretty good. Spider-Man 2099 is good. His his Aquaman run in the 90s really really good. People give a lot of crap to Hook and Aquaman. Hook and Aquaman is awesome. <laughs> Uh, so I've been reading, I'm not, I'm not that far, I'm six issues in, uh, but it's, I was not expecting it to be actually enjoyable. Um, I mean, it's, it's got its, its 90s stuff, you know, that costume, like, where'd you get that costume? Like, oh, I just happen to have this costume that's like kind of spidery and, and uh, there's a skull on it because I, I, I wore this during DS, DS, what is it? Dia de los Muertos when I went to like some festival or something like really really Miguel you wore this you wore this is just a Dia de los, de los Muertos outfit with these your 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 holiday outfit <laughs> had elbow spikes on it mm, I don't know about that uh, so there's, there's some of that 90s crap in there but generally speaking it's a lot of fun um anyway uh yeah i think that's it so uh let me know uh your thoughts uh what are things that you got that you're excited about what are things that i got that you are excited about um do all the things do the likes the comments the subscribes the hitting the notification bell do all that um and uh, of course don't forget to make yours tighten to record audio this time? Oh, thank God. This video was brought to you by Titan Comic Pressing. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Titan Comic Pressing LLC.